Hi guys, how you doing? Senior Gaming here and I'm bringing you Blade Idol with Cursed Tower. So if you Blade Idol player or perhaps Idol Gamer then make sure you subscribe to the channel as I post as often as possible and bring you best tips and advice. And if you enjoy what you see then smash this like button as well. Right then guys, so with the latest update we had a brand new dungeon added, so if I wanna head straight over there. This is now called Cursed Tower. And this tower is definitely different than any other dungeon you can actually um, play at any given point. And this is a fundamental difference because obviously if I want to go into Enchant, I got always access and I can go and try to beat next level. And that's gonna be pretty much a principle to all top six dungeon. With a curse tower it's slightly different as you are very limited on what you can do and we currently only have a zone one release. We're gonna obviously discuss more details but zone two is already in preparation and with a next update we should probably see it unlock. So as it stands we pretty much had to phase a update of the game to have a zone 1 and a zone 2 will be with the next update so perhaps every single time where there might be a patch or update we might be expecting a new zone. End of the day we're only talking about four different zones and once you clear something you are unable to come back so I think that's gonna be pretty much one of these concepts that you, it's gonna be unlocked once and once you complete it that's the maximum rewards you are able to get. Alright then, so let's just get into more details. So when the zone 2 comes out, you obviously are fully geared with the knowledge what you can do. So the quick description itself, obviously, the longer you stay, the number of monsters will increase. So we know, pretty much as we're gonna progress within the stages, we're gonna face more monsters. Definitely first thing which stands out is a locked skills. As per every single dungeon, you'll be able to set up and equip skills. And in here, you can clearly see that the two skills you won't be able to gear, and this is a chain dash and summon tornado. And I strongly believe, obviously, where the zone two will be unlocked, you're gonna have a different skills uh, that will be forbidden, you won't be able to use it, and I got no guarantee that we're gonna continue with two skills, there might be actually even more skills locked up, so you'll then have to play around it. So if I tap on the zone one, obviously I have completed all 20 stages within, uh, but there is also certain things we can address. So when it comes to equipping skills, and this is obviously what you need to do, I strongly believe that doesn't matter what zone will be released next and what skills you're gonna have blocked, you should always sort of aim for your strongest skills. At the same time, obviously if your strongest skill when it comes to God or Mythic are on a low um, upgrades, then go with a weaker ones, because obviously this will compensate your uh, lack of damage. Uh, but in this particular case, as you see, I have gone pretty much with a uh, all four strongest skills and pretty much I couldn't use Summon Tornado, which is always one of my preferred choice. Gravity Hall isn't one of the greatest skills ever, therefore I went with a Reckless Blast. But if the zone 2 is released, I would definitely see if you can squeeze the top 4 plus Summon Tornado. But obviously if any of these are locked, Summon Tornado should be unlocked in the next one, considering you cannot use it now. So then perhaps start looking for alternatives. But usually with every single new dungeon added, you always go for your strongest heavy hitters. And these should actually take you places. Right. So basically what else we can... Uh, learn from this uh, very screen. As you see, I already mentioned I cleared all the stages. Um, so when it comes to rewards, we're gonna have a chance of scooping quite a lot of diamonds. We're gonna have gold and experience chest as well as skill chest. And in the later stages, you also start getting this a passive skill chest. And I believe this will just continue with the next zones. Obviously, you're gonna have a higher grade, etc. But I might be a completely wrong, and we will see that zone two might be a completely different. But I believe there will be a certain similarities, um, there will be obviously a reward for grabs, we're gonna equip skills, etc. So as well what we need to pay attention, between a zone 1 all the way pretty much to zone 20, there is a certain penetration and accuracy recommendation. So obviously if I now switch over to 20, this is now a multiply a few times, so this is always one of these requirements and this is a normal stuff when it comes to a dungeon farming. You always need a plenty of penetration accuracy, so this is one of the areas you might be looking for, especially when a new zone comes in that should be a stronger zone, so just to see if you can hit this recommendation. 
then a also a next thing that you got to pay attention it's the curse and that's obviously where the whole title of the curse tower comes in so you got actually chance of get rid of the curse if you hit in certain criteria if you don't then there is a certain penalty associated so as you see i have managed to get rid of these two curse because if i wouldn't clear insignia dungeon stage 46 the monsters would have actually 10 times more attack and if i wouldn't have completed a um, acquire a legendary emblem i would also face monsters with 10 more times hp so obviously you will be facing a certain um, stage of that very dungeon and then if you have fit into a criteria you're gonna take off the curse and I strongly believe, obviously, going into zone 2, 3, etc., this is where you're going to start pushing your limits and perhaps you will be facing the stages where you have not unlocked certain aspects of the game. So you need to be aware you might be facing monsters with 10 more times attack or HP. And obviously, if you got them both combined, this is going to be a very difficult to beat. So you'll then have to pretty much look what requirements are there to help you out progressing with this curse tower. So therefore you might be looking into, ah, okay, I now need to progress with a little bit more of Insignia dungeon, maybe get it to a next level, and then I'll be able to get that curse removed. So I think that will be when it comes to a quick overview, obviously where the zone 2 comes out and hopefully we'll just follow the same pattern where we're gonna have a similar rewards for grabs, it's just obviously we need now more penetration, more accuracy and we're facing stronger monsters then at least you'll know what to do. If the zone 2 and others are completely different then perhaps I will release another video and we can discuss it in greater details. So for the time being that will be it guys, thank you very much for watching and as always I'll see you next time.